bare necessities, those simple bare necessities. We look very woodland-ish, like it's autumn here. It is autumn here. It is autumn. It is autumn. It's autumn in May. <laughs> it's so weird. <laughs> so bizarre we're still getting used to it oh hi everyone i'm mary i'm steve welcome to our life v3 we're going to do something a little bit different going forward we think we're going to go to more of a vlog type a vlog type of um i like vlog slip. <laughs> can we do vlog, a vlog slip a vlog slip <laughs> we're going to do slip. vlog lips <laughs> We're going to go down a hill. <laughs> so this week we're going to cover the things that we've done over this past week, which um, we are in Christchurch. We'll be here until mid-June, at which time we will be leaving and doing something. So until that time, we will continue to share individual videos with you about what we find in the area and then um, recap our weeks. Well, we thought we would start this um, video with a little bit of food. Um, Jason Wu commented, thank you, Jason, uh, on our video where with our treats about the Griffin chocolate. Basically yes. a shortbread cookie with a layer of orange jam and a dicey piece of chocolate. Dicey. Yeah, I'll take the small one. Ooh. Yes. Really good. Thank you, Jason. These are these are right up our alley. Good suggestion. And since we were trying Griffith cookies, we couldn't resist trying other cookies as well. Mm -hmm. Which brought us to finding the melting moments. Melting moments. Now a melting moment again is a shortbread cookie. Looks like an Oreo with two pieces of shortbread, but it has a really good vanilla insert. And Mary's favorite thing to do is to split these, take the half without the frosting, give me the half with the frosting, and then dunk them in her coffee. Oh, speaking of coffee, going to make my coffee. It's three in one. So we found these. This is my favorite. It's a Maxim brand. A lot of these are Asian brands, uh, Vietnam and Thailand. This, this is the Vietnam brand G7. And then we have the... Uh, I'm not sure where Cupio is from. Anyway, so it is coffee, creamer, and sugar in a perfect blend. So you just add hot water and instantly have a nice creamy. For those of you who hate the cream in your coffee, they sell a two-in-one, which is black coffee with sugar. But hey, we call that why. <laughs> Cheers. We've spent a lot of time eating in the van. And the van eating is, uh, if it comes out of a can or can be cooked at that moment, great. Otherwise, it's not done. But now that we're in the hotel, we have a microwave and we do have the ability to cook and store stuff in a fridge. So we've been trying some new experiments with some old US favorite recipes. Mary's made an open face loose meat sandwich that is just the closest thing to a burger we've had since we got here. Yeah, those have been very tasty. You make good? a good open face sandwich. Yeah. We you, did it. We, we did? accomplished it. We have made the cheeseburger omelet. So tomato and hash browns and hamburger and ketchup and pickle. Mmm. Mm, yeah, IHOP got us hooked on these and no IHOP here, so. Let's see how we did. I hope we did well. Mm -hmm. And tasty cheese. That's good. That's good? That's good. All right, there's mine. And uh, we don't want to buy cookies all the time, so we've taken a crack at cinnamon toast. Yeah, because the, the one thing that we do miss, or I miss a lot out of being in the van here, is we do not have a proper toaster. And trying to toast bread over a camper toast or a stove just hasn't worked very well. We've had some marginal success, but it's, it's not the best. Obviously, coming off the tracks and into a hotel has taken its toll physically on us. Yeah, yeah. Clothes are starting to fit a little better again. Speaking of hiking, now that we're at level two, a lot of the trails or tracks have reopened. Um, not all of them are open yet, but we can at least do some day hikes here around Christchurch. So our goal is to do two a week. 
at least two two serious hikes and then daily around the blocks around the hotel mm-hmm. or downtown town or downtown something like that so this week we did major hornbrook and this is our view just starting out 1.6 mile out and back it's supposed to be steep rocks may fall without warning be alert if out stay out I'm just excited to be out on our trail again. Oof. Good. It's been a while. Hopefully we get some good views. Let's see, we're back to just cruddy views. <laughs> oh, they're horrible. It's a rock slide area. They want us to move quickly through it. You can see why. It was a steep incline, so... That it, that it was. And I think I only fell once, which was pretty good. I didn't fall at all. Yeah, good for you. No, I'll change that up on the next couple of weeks. Give me, <laughs> give me a chance. <laughs> the more we descend now, the more we have to climb later. And at the halfway point, we blocked the track. So the pace is slowly dying. <laughs> Ooh, breath. Whew. I don't mean to complain, but Eddie Bauer, dude, your pants rotate all the time. They're creepy crawly. Uh, that's a shame. Yeah. It used to be such good, good stuff. Oh, I mean, I'm like decked out in Eddie Bauer stuff. Yeah. They just have not held up lately. I mean, you could see the seams in the pockets. This is less than six months in. They're just mm -hmm. gone. Six weeks. Kick the butt toe. We made it. Woo. Yay for us. Man, we're out of shape. We'll get there though. But there were some um, nice views from the top and actually the gondola here in town goes up to the top of that hill but or no. it's not nil. open in level two yet. That is true. We did take the very first day of being in level two, our ability to actually leave the hotel without threat of arrest, and um, went to the botanical gardens here. Now, if you, you know, for May Day, uh, take wherever you're at in the Northern Hemisphere, subtract or add six months, roughly that's where we're at. So we're at the beginning of winter now. Uh, the late, gardens. Late autumn. Late autumn. The gardens were still in bloom, but you could tell the roses were dripping. We put a we put a video out for that, so make sure you take a look at that one if you just want to see a assortment of New Zealand floral and trees. Right, and if you do find yourself in Christchurch during the spring or summer, I would, and oh, you, do that. yeah, I would do that too. I mean, it was a it was a free thing to do, and it was a nice walk around, and there was a lot to see, and it was just some really good exercise in getting out. I never realized Mary was such a tree hugger. I didn't I mean, either. We, we just everywhere you go, she's like tree, ooh tree, ooh tree. You're I like know, you're like knew? Doug. Ooh, <laughs> tree, ooh, ooh tree, ooh spruce, ooh pine, ooh ooh ooh. What's that? Ooh. I didn't realize it either, but I really do have an appreciation for trees. They are just there's just some really beautiful ones out there. And we found them. So, uh, also time to start planning now that level two is open. Uh, they're starting to open up the DOC, Department of Conservation, huts and walks again. Yay! So, for those who didn't know, we came here to do 10. We had two kicked out from under us on like, the day of our last one. 10 great walks. 10 great walks. We had 10 scheduled. We lost one to flooding. We lost one to landslide. And on the very last day of our seventh walk, uh, I guess... Yeah, if you See. saw if you saw our paparoa, we went into a level four lockdown, and so we were supposed to be on the Abel Tasman coastal mm. track um, the day after we got off of that, but we we couldn't we because couldn't. of the COVID nineteen lockdown. So they were really quick to say, "Oh, thanks for visiting. Here's your refund. Have a nice day." Uh, okay. 
<laughs> but as soon as they opened up, Mary was quick and lined us back up. We instantly rebooked things. We're going to go out and do a five-day hike out there. And so we are booked now, right? We are booked. We are booked. So the only difference really with this one is normally we would tent our way through this. But again, add or subtract six months. We're going in June. And that that's is going winter. to be like the middle of December in the northern <laughs> hemisphere. Um, I yeah. don't know our exact latitude, but this is like December Chicago. I don't know. I think it's like the Mediterranean or maybe a little bit lower. So we have four around. nights in bunks huts and one night in a very 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 chilly tent hey you know what we don't know we might get very lucky and we are on the coast and it could be very mild that night we don't know but that's what our <laughs> wrong <laughs> that's what our super duper warm quilts are for yes so we'll be Ooh, i need my super duper warm <laughs> quilt i can just line up so that's what we'll be using to keep us warm there uh, that's yeah. that's going to be some exciting. I am so ready for that. And I want to give a shout out to Dory from Dory's Hiking Avenger. Thank you so much for uh, the advice. We were thinking of just going up to where the water taxi drops us off, which is about three quarters of the way up, and then wa just walking back um, down. But instead, she said it is so worth it to, to go on up to the most northern part. So we are going to go to the northern part of it and stay in a hut there. And then that's why we have to stay in a tent. Bad news side. Remember, this was our two year journey from New Zealand after nine months over to Australia. It really looks like Australia is off the table. While New Zealand is down to its last few COVID cases through locked borders and whatnot, Australia also locked down, but they're still battling a couple hundred. So while they want to open up the channel between New Zealand and Australia, they've basically made that clear. That's not going to be till late year or early next year, which uh, we don't have the visa duration for that. So it looks like we're going to have to make alternative plans. So stay tuned. We'll see where we're going from here. Yeah, it looks like the only place that we really can go is back to the States at this point in time. We do have flights out in August to go to Honolulu. Um, and then we'll probably have to head back into the mainland after that. Yeah. So, so our current is Honolulu, visit Jesse, Jackie, and then go back over to Australia. But right now, Honolulu's closed, Australia's closed. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll see. Well, in the next couple of weeks, I think it'll become more clear as to what people are doing and what flights are going to be available and how we start to exit. But, um, you know, plans in the works. We need an exit strategy. We do. Yes. <laughs> we'll also be thinking about if we do go back to the United States, what does that mean? What are we going to do? Because um, we really didn't plan on doing that. So maybe we'll maybe we'll go back to work for a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, we'll We've see. been talking about. We have, we have various stuff. ideas, which we'll share in upcoming videos of things that we've been plotting and planning yep but that's all you're getting today so go watch somebody else really move on move along no really we appreciate you guys sharing we appreciate the comments any suggestions you have keep them coming just keep them coming yeah <laughs> oh. back away back away from the cookies all right all right thanks for watching Remember to find your dream and own it. Take care, everybody. If you'd like to see more of our videos, or click like, click like and subscribe. Thanks.